السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آف کلاس ایٹ گرلز ہائی اسکول کلام آباد سو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹارٹ اندر لیسن چیپٹر سکس آف یور ٹیکسٹ بک فوڈ پروڈکشن اینڈ مینجمنٹ سو ان دس چیپٹر دا فسٹ سب ٹاپک which we have to discuss is the agriculture. So, dear students, food production means the different ways of the food that we collect from different sources. There are two main sources of the food. One is the animal source of food and the other is the plant source of food. So from two main sources, we have plants and animals from which we get the different food sources. So food is the basic necessity of life. Without food, all living organisms cannot survive. All living organisms need food for their growth and development for to carry out the different life activities. So in nutshell we can say that without food all living organisms cannot survive. Not only the man but all other living organisms including plants, animals and microorganisms need food for their survival. So dear students, in the modern world, in the today's fast growing life, there are a lot of food resources. But due to increasing human population, the food becomes very less for some of the people. So we must have to produce more and more food and we have to to conserve the food. That is why we need a management for the production of food. So, dear students, it was just an introduction about the food production and the management of food. So, today let us start the first subtopic that is agriculture. So, dear students, the agriculture term is basically derived from the Latin word agar. Agar means field. And cultura. Cultura means cultivation. So whatever we cultivate in our field is the agriculture. It is the agriculture which provides us food. As we know that Man depends on plants and their products for his various needs. So, plants are the main source of food on the earth because the plants are uh, autotrophs. You know that autotrophs are those organisms which produce their own food by the process of photosynthesis. Mainly the green plants are included in this category, in the category of heterotrophs, or we can say these are the producers. The primary source of food on earth are the plants. So men not only need plants for their food, but also need plants for oxygen, for other needs like clothing, like um, this medicines, like rubber, fuel, fodder, etc. So, since time immemorial has been engaged in farming. So, the farming practice is from very beginning. And in India, there are 70% of the population that is directly or indirectly deal with the agriculture. So, 70% population of India is dependent on agriculture. It means there are mostly the rural areas in India 
which cultivate their crops different types of crops different type of foods so agriculture is a broader sense it is defined as the study of science and art of production of plants and animals useful to man so in the agriculture there is not only the plant production there is also the rearing of animals because the animals depend on plants the animals get their food from plants so animal husbandry it is a core subject a correlated subject of the agriculture we can see that animal husbandry is also dependent on agriculture if there is no agriculture there is no animal husbandry so we can see that agriculture is the backbone of modern civilization so dear students in the agriculture we grow different types of crops in our lands we different types of crops and besides the growing crops we have to manage the animals we have to breed and management of animals also in kilgore in the agriculture a huge population of the world is dependent upon agriculture as is the main source of livelihood like all other agriculture is the main city of the people of jammu and kashmir so this is like other states jammu and kashmir also is dependent on the agriculture mostly the northern states of india depends upon the agriculture so dear students in the agriculture we grow different sub crops which are shown in the table in the textbook that are grown in india you see here the cereals or grain crops it includes rice wheat maize barley bajra jowar and ragi there are fiber crops which include cotton and jute pulses pulses include gram red gram black gram green gram lentils peas etc and there are oil seed crops it includes mustard groundnut sunflower and till there are root crops sweet potato is included in it tuber crops potato topica there is sugar crops like sugar cane and beetroot there is plantation crops like coffee tea rubber and coconut so these different types of crops are grown in india for food for food purposes not only for plants but also for the different animals so in here in this uh, textbook there is some of the you know, data given that is agriculture sustain 80% of state population area under cultivation is 24.16 lakh hectares area on which rice is shown that is 273.10 hectare area on which maize is shown that is 248.21 hectares area of wheat is shown that is 298.58 hectares so this is the table you can see from your textbook this is just a survey a data that and uh, data that regarding the agriculture of our jnk state so dear students agriculture is the backbone of modern civilization all living and living animals depends upon the agriculture mostly the animals depend on agriculture for the food so dear students from tomorrow the next video we will discuss the crop plants what are the different crop plants that are grown how are they cultivated so dear students let us learn it another video city connected